I want to bring you the latest now on Tuesday's deadly train derailment in Philadelphia. Emergency crews remain on the scene today, removing debris from the track following the tragic accident that claimed the lives of seven people. This as investigators try to figure out why the train was traveling at more than twice the speed limit. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright live in Providence this morning with the very latest. Today, there's no Amtrak service between New York and Philadelphia and limited service between New York and Boston after that deadly de derailment in Philadelphia. Right now, the investigation is focusing on the train's speed in the moments before the crash that killed seven people and left 200 hurt. The National Transportation Safety Board says the train was going more than 100 miles an hour when the speed limit for that section of track was only 50 miles an hour. Philadelphia's mayor blames the engineer, Brandon Boston, for the crash, calling the train's speed reckless. But the NTSB says those comments are inflammatory and it won't make any judgments until finding out the facts first. Even if investigators find out speed caused the crash, it might not be the engineer's fault. It's possible there could have been a mechanical issue, such as faulty brakes. Officers tried to interview Boston yesterday, but he refused and left with a lawyer. We plan to interview the engineer at the first opportunity that we can. We want to go back and look at uh, the operation of the train. Police are trying to get a search warrant for Boston's phone records so they can find out if he was distracted at the time of the crash. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.